Hey, what is up Wolfpack? It's me Kyle here and today before we get into the video I want to mention I'm going to be giving away a Burger Town code for Modern Warfare So if you would like to receive it just leave a comment below with your favorite SMG And we'll be picking someone at random and reply to you to get a method to contact you Anyways, welcome back to another gold gun guide for Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Today we're going to be taking a look at all of the SMGs in the game, and yes, I just recently got them platinum. So for starters, I'm going to give you guys my best class setup for generally all of the SMGs. For the barrels, I'm going to recommend anything that gives you the most range and bullet velocity and stuff like that. Um, for the foregrip, I'm going to recommend usually the ranger or operator grip, anything that gives you the best recoil control or even hip fire control if you're going for hip fires. For the rear grip, I tend to go for stuff that gives you faster aim down sight speed or uh, sprint out speed, which is really nice. Now for the, I also do a weapon perk of sleight of hand, which is nice and useful, especially for reload kills. And usually I just go with a GI mini reflex, as that's just my favorite. You can change this up, uh, such as the sights and perks and rear grip or something you know, anything of the sort. I will say I tend to get rid of the mini reflex and put on a laser sight when I do go for hip fire kills. The one outlier for this class is the AUG. When you use the AUG, once you unlock 556 ammunition type, be sure to put that on because that is, it just makes the gun two times as powerful, way better. And uh, you could probably just get rid of the sights. I, I actually like the AUG iron sights, so they're not bad to use. All right, so getting into the challenges here, we have kills and headshots. I found that you know, just playing and leveling up the gun, I generally got most of these without even trying. I believe there might have been one or two where I actually had to pay attention going for headshots, but you know, they're pretty easy. Um, next up, crouch kills. This is painful. Um, you can crouch around, sneak up on people. You generally want to be a bit more passive if you're going to uh, go that route, but you can rush. If you're going to rush around corners, be sure to slide so that you slide into a crouch and get kills while crouched. Or if you just sneak up on people, just crouch behind them. If you are having difficulty with crouch kills with some of the weaker SMGs, I will recommend Hardcore since everything kills in like, you know, one bullet. Hipfire kills with the SMGs are easy because they're SMGs and uh, you're going to want to get up close and personal with these, rush a lot. It's pretty easy, especially if you're just focusing on one challenge at a time. Um, hip fire is a pain if you're trying to do crouch kills at the same time, but by itself it's pretty easy, especially if you put on a laser sight. Next up, probably the bane of my existence for the SMGs, these were the long shots. I played Shoot House 24-7 for all of the SMGs, and I believe it was recently added back in the game, so be sure to uh, take advantage of Shoot House and get all your SMGs gold, or at least the ones that you were looking to. Now when it did come to the long shots, I like to pair them with mount kills. So like on Shoot House, there's a whole bunch of places to mount, such as the office windows, the spawn walls on each side, and uh, maybe some places in the junkyard. But yeah, I tend to get my long shots with my mount kills. It's just a little bit difficult, but like I said, you gotta make sure you have those barrels that increase your range, and um, have decent recoil control as well. The five attachment kills, that's pretty easy, pretty much what you're going to be doing anyways. The reload kills I found to actually come naturally, surprisingly, on the SMGs. There might have just been one that I actually had to focus on getting reload kills, and if you do need to focus on it, then um, what I tend to do is every time I respawn, I shoot a couple bullets up in the air, and then uh, every time I see someone or I know I'm about to engage someone, I reload right before I get into that gunfight, or at least get the kill. Sleight of hand is best for this as well. No attachment kills, pretty easy, except for the mini Uzi, this gun's absolutely terrible. Um, when you're using no attachments on the mini Uzi, you want to go for headshots for the most part, or at least aim high upper body. You could even go to hardcore, because honestly the mini Uzi is that bad, you, you, you'll see. Lastly, we have the three gun streak kills, which is pretty easy, but if you are not as good of a player, I do recommend playing a bit more passive or camping, as that seems to be uh, pretty successful in this game. Anyways guys, that's going to be it for this short little video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and found this useful. If you did, then be sure to drop a like and subscribe for future Modern Warfare videos. But until next time, peace out guys.